What's up guys, Joseph Rockets here from josephrockets.com and today in this video I'm going to take you through my entire back workout. Now previously just trained back uh, just before this video but I thought I'll take you through my entire back workout, show you what exercises I do, the sets, the reps and give you some tips and techniques along the way that have really helped me develop my back. First exercise that we did for back was this machine here, it is a single arm lat pull down. Um, now the reason I like this exercise so much is because it allows me to really get a contraction on my lat. It allows me to pull down and squeeze right from the lower insertion point on the lat. So building the muscle right to the lowest part of the insertion where the lat is inserted will help you with your V taper. Now a lot of people when they're doing a lat pull down, their elbows come back behind their body. All that does is it deactivates the lower lat and places all the stress and emphasis on your upper back. So this exercise here is a great exercise for really pulling from the lower lat insertions and that's why I like it so much. Really important to focus on the squeeze and contraction on every rep. I did five sets in total for this. My rep range is between eight and 20. Exercise number two that I did for this back workout was wide grip pull-ups. Um, now the reason I'm doing a pull-up instead of a pull-down, I always mix it up and I change things around, but believe it or not, there's actually more muscle activation in a pull-up than a pull-down. So I try to include pull-ups in my workouts as often as I can. Um, that's not to say that I don't include pull-downs though. They are in a lot of my workouts. But right now I'm doing pull-ups as my second exercise. I'm going to be doing five sets in total. Um, and each of these five sets I'm going to try and kick it to failure. Now the reason I'm using a wide grip is so I work at different areas of my back opposed to what we just did. So using a wide grip will actually activate more of the upper lats, um, the middle traps and the upper back. So we've gone from an exercise focusing on the lower lat insertions, now we're focusing more on the lats in general and the upper back. So. Alright guys, exercise number three that I did is reverse behind the head lat pull downs. Now the reason I'm doing this exercise is because it is a great exercise for really working and developing the middle and lower traps. I'll put a diagram up on the screen for you right now just so you can see what the middle and lower traps are. But this is a great exercise for really hitting that area of the back. So the middle part of the back and when you add low body fat, this looks awesome. Now, if you have rotator cuff issues or anything like that, this is probably an exercise that you want to go really, really light in, or not even include in your workouts, but if you don't have any rotator cuff injuries, definitely try this exercise out, because it's a great one for really developing the middle part of the back. So, this is the lat pull down machine right here. What we're going to do, we're going to sit on it reverse. We're then going to use a wide grip, and we're going to pull the bar to the back of our head. I also like to lean slightly forward on this. So 
this exercise I did four sets in total and the rep range was anywhere from 10 to 20. Alright guys, now up to exercise number four and that exercise is a seated row. Now a seated row is a great way to build that thickness of your back. Now when I perform my seated rows what I like to do is I like to hold the squeeze and contraction for roughly about one second. That just allows for more muscle activation to happen in the back. More muscle activation leads to more muscle fibers ripped, which leads to more muscle growth, providing that you die at some point. Um, we're going to do three sets in total for this, and the rep range is going to be 10 to 15. Alright guys, fifth and final exercise for this back workout is reverse cable flies. Um, one of my favorite exercises for really burning out the back. The reason I like this exercise so much is because it hits all those little muscles in the back that often get um, overpowered by the bigger muscles when you're doing heavy uh, barbell rows or dumbbell rows or heavy lat pull downs. So doing a reverse cable fly really allows you to activate all those little muscles so when you do diet down and you do get lean, your back looks awesome with so much detail. So what you want to do for this exercise guys, you want to grab each handle with the opposite hand. You want to stand back, one or two steps, pull back, squeeze, contract, pull back, squeeze, contract. three sets in total and each one of those sets 20 reps or more. The reason I like to go high reps for this exercise is because you're focusing more on the contraction, the squeeze um, and putting stress on that muscle rather than weight. Anyway guys, that is the end of my back workout. I hope you enjoyed that. hope you found some of those tips useful. Make sure you apply it to your own training next time you're in the gym. And if anyone out there watching these videos um, needs help with a custom meal plan in order to build muscle or lose body fat, I can help you out. I'm an online personal trainer. I've trained for more than 100,000 people around the world um, via my meal plans, my workout programs. So if you're interested in getting results like this or like this, you can join my ultimate transformation program by clicking the link in the description box down below. And if you are watching this on Facebook, I'll put the link in the comment section. All the information is there, what my program includes and what you'll receive. If you follow that plan, you stay consistent, you will get amazing results, I guarantee you that. And if you're not happy or not satisfied for any reason at all, I do have 100% money back guarantee. Anyway guys, time for me to go eat now. I'm starving, but I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed here already.